of leaders and politicians from Kanu State has asked a court to compel the Senate President Ahmed Lawa and the Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Banjambiamila to hasten the exit of the Southeast from Nigeria before concluding ongoing amendments to the country's constitution. The request formed one of the three prayers sought in a suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 538 slash 2021 instituted at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The politicians include Nasataru Asiru Sheriff, Balarba, Rafael, Adu Harazi Suleiman, and Amino Adam. They are veiled in a supporting affidavit that their action was informed by the need to stem the tide of violence and destruction allegedly occasioned by the agitation for secession championed by the Namdekanu led indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Listed as defendant in the suit are the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, the Senate President, Lawa, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Banjan Biamila, and the National Assembly. The plaintiff prayed the court for the following relief. A declaration that by the combined effect of the provisions of Section 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, and Article 1, 2, and 20, one of the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement. At 2004, the fourth defendant, that is the National Assembly, is empowered to set in motion a framework for a referendum to allow the southeastern region of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to decide on their bid for self-determination. Declaration that in view of the provisions of Article 1, 2, 4, 14, and 20, one of the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement. At 2004, the second and the third defendant, that is the Senate President and the House of Representatives, Speaker Benjamin Miller, have the power to call for a joint session of both chambers of the fourth defendant to deliberate on the agitation for self-determination by the Southern States of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. An order directing the second, third, and fourth defendants to provide a framework that will pave the way for the self-determination of the Southeastern state so as to leave the geographical entity called Nigeria before any further step is taken to further amend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Even before the emergence of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, there was a group at the southeastern part of Nigeria known as Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign State of Biafra, Marsop, under the leadership of one chief, Raphael Mwazurike. The main objective of the group mentioned in the immediately preceding paragraph is also the creation of the independent state of Biafra away from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long before the emergence of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the movement for the actualization of the Sovereign state of Biafra, Mansop, there was a move by the people of the southeastern part of Nigeria, formerly eastern region led by the late Colonel Odumogu, sorry, Odumegu Ojuku, to secede from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The secession attempt by the people of the then Eastern region under the leadership of the late Colonel Ojuku was directly responsible for the first Nigerian civil war between 1967 and 1970. The said civil war had claimed many innocent lives from both sides of the divided as well as destruction of properties worth billions of nairas, which was the 
detrimental to the growth and the development of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The lessons of the Civil War have fed in the minds of many Nigerians and a repeat of the carnage of the Civil War is not necessary going forward. The IPOP agitation for self-determination has turned violent against both the people of the Southeast who are against the agitations and other Nigerians carrying out their lawful businesses within the southeastern states of the Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria. He said the IPOP through its militant and Eastern Security Network, ESN, is responsible for the killings, explosion and the destruction of properties of other Nigerians not belonging to the Igbo tribe, resolving with uh, finality the essential question of self-determination of any part of Nigeria is now more urgent, imperative, and prevails over above the issue of amending the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal, Federal Republic of Nigeria can be further amended at any time after the question of self-determination must have been resolved by Nigerians. The case has been assigned Assigned to justice in Yang, Eden, Equo, and has been fixed for November 1st, 2021, for hearing. He said, So, guys, these are um, some elders in the northern part of the country, and some politicians in Kano asking Nigerian government, you know, to. Uh, Make or can, can I say to conduct a referendum for the southeast easterners to go on their way? All right, someone said the Amazon and the Kanu is a re revolutionary history. We judge him kindly, if not for him, we won't have gotten to a level where the not the not of all people will also begin to campaign for the disintegration of this unworkable. Uh, a country called Nigeria. Someone just dropped that. All right, someone said, that, Yes, they should allow Biafra to exist in Nigeria. It is not a crime to be independent if you keep holding them down, forcing unity on them. They will keep praying for Nigeria to disintegrate. So, these are Nigerians' reactions to, to this. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.